what's up guys my name is amanda and welcome back to another video today i'm doing something a little different today i decided i wanted to do some meal prepping because i just don't feel like making food every day i've been cooking a lot and i just want a little bit of a break from doing food every single day so i'm gonna do some meal prep for the week and I haven't done this in a while and I have kind of a general plan of what I'm gonna do. And the first thing to do <laughs> before meal prepping is figure out, figuring out what we're gonna make. So we're gonna be making a vegan chili and a lentil soup. Those are gonna be like the main foods. I already made some bread, I didn't record that, but that's gonna count towards my meal prep. I'll put a few clips in to show you that. And then I'm also gonna be making hummus and prepping some veggies for snacks. I'm going to be making some pickled red onions for kind of toppings for things, as well as some treats. I'm gonna make some uh, like date Snickers and some chocolate covered fruit because I've been like craving sweet things like crazy. And then I'm also going to do some no bake brownies. I'm not sure if I'm gonna film that. We'll see how far we get today. Um, and then I think that's it. Uh, I might do a breakfast, I might do some chia seed pudding, but I know I plan to make a tofu scramble for breakfast tomorrow, so I know I'll have leftovers for that. So I'm not 100% if I'm gonna make those um, for chia seed pudding, but I will let you know. So I am going to kind of get things out and started, and then we will start meal prepping. So I have my recipes printed for the chili and the soup, and I have these out so I can see kind of what veggies I need to chop and prepare for both recipes so I can do that all together. And then I have a really sloppily written list of the things that I want to make. And that is where we start. One more thing before we get into prepping. When meal prepping, I think it's really important to utilize all of the different tools and methods of cooking in your kitchen. So with that in mind, the soup in the Instant Pot and then whoop, the uh, chili is going to be made in the Dutch oven. So then while all that is going, prep the other things. We can make the hummus in the food processor and we could make the snacks and everything. The brownies are no bake, the chia seed pudding will be no bake. So we'll be able to use multiple things at once to maximize our cooking time. All right, so the only things we really need to prep are a few onions, potatoes, carrots, and some garlic for both the chili and the soup. And then one of these red onions I'm going to cut up since I'll have my knife out to prep for the pickled red onions. Hey, so I had to step away. So I don't really have like a, an accurate um, kind of uh, amount of time that this is taking, but I will guesstimate based on the uh, recipes and things. Um, but yeah, life happens. My dogs are crazy and I'm doing laundry at the same time. So uh, now that all the veggies are prepped, I'm gonna go through the recipes and mise en place all of the spices and other ingredients. It's a lot of extra dishes, but once I start cooking, things are gonna just go really, really quick. And that's what I'm gonna do next. So I will show you when that is all done. All right, everything is officially measured out for the soup apart for the vegetable broth. And then same thing over here, everything is measured out apart from the vegetable broth for the chili. So since the chili is gonna take the longest out of everything, I'm gonna start cooking that. So I have my Dutch oven heating up with the olive oil in it. In it blah, blah, blah. And once that's done, we'll add in the onions and we cook that for about 10 minutes until they're nice and golden and then go from there. First in goes the onions with a little bit of salt. I'm using red onion because that's all the store had. The yellow onions were not very good looking. <laughs> okay. 
So the onion for the chili has been going for a few minutes. So now I'm gonna head over to my Instant Pot and click the saute setting here. So then I could start sauteing my onion for the soup. So now that the onions are done, I'm gonna add the garlic and the tomato paste and stir that around, cook that for a minute or so just to get some color on that tomato paste. This is for the chili still. And now that the tomato paste is dark, we're going to add in the spices and stir that around and cook that for about 30 seconds. Spices are toasted, in goes the red wine to deglaze the pan. And this is gonna simmer for two to three minutes just to ensure all the alcohol is evaporated. What's great about that is while the wine is simmering on the chili, in goes the garlic for our soup and we're gonna give that a little stir. And we're also adding in the carrots and a little bit of black pepper. And then the carrots for the soup are gonna cook for about three minutes here. So it's been a little over three minutes. You can see that everything is nice and jammy. Now in goes the veggie broth. I'm gonna give this a nice stir and then add in the beans and the tomatoes, as well as the cocoa powder maple syrup, soy sauce or Worcestershire sauce, and bay leaves. Can't forget the salt and pepper. And then now my friends, all we are going to do is stir this together until everything is nice and combined. Bring it to a boil and then move it to the little baby burner and simmer, stirring it often. And while the chili is coming up to a boil, we're gonna add the four cups of veggie broth to our soup. I already added a little splash um, while I was adding the ingredients into the chili because I didn't want everything to burn yeah, while I was pouring because multitasking is real in this situation. And we'll add the lentils, potatoes, salt and pepper, and give that a little bit of a stir and then add in our bouquet garni. I don't have twine, so I'm just gonna plop the herbs right on top. I'm just going to kind of gently press those herbs underneath the water line and very carefully pour the tomatoes on top. So now everything is in our Instant Pot. We're going to seal it up, set it, and walk away. And for this, we are going to pressure cook on high for 12 minutes. And then after the 12 minutes, we're gonna do a 10 minute natural pressure release, and then we'll be done with this guy. Hey friends, so I didn't realize my mic died while I was recording this video. So for the soup, the last thing that goes in once it is done cooking is a little bit of Dijon mustard and balsamic vinegar. Uh, so I just wanted to catch up with that chili bubbling away. And now that the soup has cooked for that amount of time, I just do the quick release and then stir in those last two ingredients after I tried to pick out and remove those herbs, which was a little difficult because they weren't tied together and it looks like slop, but I got most of them out. So then I just gave that a nice stir to kind of incorporate the tomatoes that we poured on top so they didn't burn. And then I mixed in the balsamic and the uh, mustard just for a little extra flavor boost at the end. So I got about six servings for each of these meals and I did end up freezing some of the leftovers cause I knew I probably wasn't gonna eat all of them. So that was really great. And then I also threw in here the clips for making the pickled red onion. I'll leave the recipe in the description box below. And I just started a TikTok. So I filmed this vertically so I could turn it into a TikTok and that was really fun. 
So I will uh, leave the link for that uh, also in the description box, just kind of a fun thing that I am playing around with right now. Uh, but these are a great uh, topping for not only the chili, but tacos and even hummus, I don't know, whatever you want. It's just a good way to get some fermented foods into your diet. And then I started on the sweet treats. So I'm gonna do some chocolate dipped strawberries and these clementines, and then prep the dates for the date Snickers, which I made these in a video previously, so I will link that in the description box below as well. Unfortunately, there were like wormy, mealy bug things in the dates. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to get new ones to make those uh, another day. And then coming back to our chickpeas that they soaked overnight and then I'm cooking them in the instant pot, just covering them with water and cooking them up for about 25 minutes and then letting them uh, kind of come to a uh, natural release and then putting all the ingredients in the food processor to make the hummus itself. I did lemon juice, salt, pepper, cumin, and uh, some cold water and I will link the recipe for this below and then I made a really fun garlic lemon uh, topping uh, oil which to be totally frank I <laughs> I knocked over the little jar that I put the oil in or not jar a little um, uh, cup and spilled half of it all over the counter and I'm so sad because it was so good So I ended up only with about half and also um, You'll see in a little bit when I start making it I put a lid on the oil don't do that definitely do not put the lid on the oil because the condensation That formed on the lid splattered in the oil and also splattered all over me, but this was so delicious I highly recommend trying this olive oil, or not olive oil this uh, lemon garlic uh, oil topping with this delicious hummus. So that is a wrap here folks for this meal prep. Let me know what you thought of this style video and if you want to see more like this. I might try and do some meal prepping 
here and there just to kind of stock my fridge and kind of help me set up for success when I don't feel like cooking. But I really enjoyed the selection of food and it was really nice to have snacks ready to go in the fridge and the pickled red onion, which I've been putting in a lot of different things. And uh, yeah, so if you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Welcome back if you're returning. I so appreciate the support from all of you and I can't wait to see you in the next video. I will leave you here. Bye for now.